Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Movie News. I hope your week is going well. We have like eight or nine stories to talk about this week. Not a lot happened. The first story we're going to talk about, though, is Dan Trachtenberg's next Predator movie, which is Badlands, which has just begun filming. It stars Elle Fanning, and the film will be set sometime in the future. I, I'm so on board for this. Just give me more Predator movies after Dan Trachtenberg just gave us Prey. Prey was a magnificent Predator movie. I think everyone agreed that it was probably the best one since the original. I just cannot wait to see what he does with this next one Elle Fanning is a fantastic actress now that she's done uh do uh, filming the great and done with that show she can now pursue more movies and I'm excited that her next movie is going to be a, uh, a basically a predator movie Badlands great title so having it set sometime in the future is also kind of interesting I would have wished it was like some kind of samurai story that would have been pretty cool but the future could also be pretty interesting but I'm hoping that this one goes to theaters because Prey deserved that rather than going to Hulu Tom Burke has been cast in a new Blade Runner 2099 series alongside Hunter Schaefer and Michelle Yeoh and this is of course coming to Prime Video probably uh 2025 or 2026 i don't know when they're going to start filming this or if they've already started filming this i'm pretty sure tom burke is going to be a supporting role i don't even know the whole story about this one i'm gonna have to go look up the whole story to see you know what happens in the story i don't know if it's going to work considering you know blade runner has never been a tv show sure maybe there's been some short shows about it maybe some animated shows but making it live action you're gonna need a big budget for this i do really like the cast where I love these three stars, so we'll see how it works out. A24 has officially acquired Luca Guadagnino's next movie, Queer, which stars Daniel Craig, and this one has been uh, kind of playing at the fall festivals recently, getting some, you know, nice praise. It's a little bit divisive, though, because supposedly some people were booing at, like, the gay sex scenes in it, and the movie's called Queer, so I don't know why some people went to this movie at a film festival, like, knowing that it would have these sex scenes, and they still booted them. Like, if you don't like it, why did you go see it? But yeah, it's getting you know a decent amount of praise some bad reviews from those people but I'll, i'm just excited to see another luca guadagnino movie i'm pretty sure that this is going to come out this year because they do want to give it some oscar chances but if a24 does release it this year they got to do a better job compared to what they did with sing 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 has now dropped from a lot of theaters like it's hardly playing anywhere they didn't even try to release it uh worldwide Hopefully they do release this one worldwide because you can't not release a Luca Guadagnino film, especially when it stars Daniel Craig. I'm very excited for this one. The new Wizards of Waverly Place sequel series will premiere on October 29th on Disney Channel, and the first eight episodes will release on Disney Plus on October 30th, the next day. So if you're looking forward to this, uh, it's coming out next month. I'm kind of looking forward to it. I kind of dug the trailer, but it just it just feels like one of those things that you can't really uh, bring back the magic to. You know, uh, the magic was there like the years ago but one thing i like about this uh, a little detail is that i think it's going to be either 21 or 24 episodes for this season uh, if they're going to do more seasons i don't know but the sequel series will be about 21 episodes or something and we haven't seen that uh for you know a streaming show in a long time and sure i guess you could say you know it's a sitcom comedy series they're going to be like short episodes but i'm fine with that you know it's better than giving like an eight episode or ten episode series of just like four out four hours of content this needs to be that this needs to be like 21 episodes that's what the original series was that's what sitcoms need to be i hate these short episode a uh, short episodes with like hardly any episodes in the series this is you know I'm, I'm happy for this if the show is bad that's fine at least you got a lot of episodes so a lot of other people will enjoy it uh, i have you know i have my you know uh complaints for how this will go and how the sequel series will be received but i'll probably still watch it we have our first look at gareth edwards new jurassic world movie and it has official title jurassic world of rebirth hitting theaters july 2nd 2025 still a little confused on that date i don't know how they're going to make it to that date because they, they just started filming and um, maybe if they finish filming i guess by november or december maybe they can do all that vfx work in like six months i guess it's possible but i guess they're going to be rushing the vfx workers once again hopefully it still looks great these first few images look pretty cool mahershala ali looking really cool without flair scarlett johansson looks pretty great you know gareth edwards i think i feel like he's going to do a great job with this one i feel like this one will be pretty great even though if it's dumb it's probably going to make a billion all the other jurassic world movies did even though dominion was pretty bad uh 
uh, the Lost World had its issues, and uh, a lot. Uh, first Jurassic World was actually okay. I, I just hope that Gareth Edwards will do you know the same job he always does, which just does great world building and fantastic visual effects with fantastic action sequences. Like you could have your pretty, you know, you could have your issues with his Godzilla movie in the creator, but he did a fantastic job with creating those worlds and the action sequences look fantastic. So I'm actually getting pretty pumped for this one. We have some news about Outer Banks season four with of course the first official poster and the trailer has been released. Trailer looks pretty decent, just a teaser trailer. This one is sadly gonna be released in two parts and no more a binge for this one. Uh, part one is gonna be released October 10th and part two basically a month later, November 7th. As I've said many times, I have my issues with these part things because this you can't just make people so interested and just take a month break. That's not how it works. If you were going to split the episodes up, then do weekly at this point. Uh, these part things just do not work for me. I think they really love the reception when it happens Stranger Things, but that's a totally different story. This one, though, I, I just don't get it. Uh, if you're going to do the last three seasons full binge, why change this one at the last second? It just feels like you're just trying to you know, make the series last as long as possible. I feel like that's just a bad idea, but who knows, it could be, it could work out for them subscription wise, because you know, they're losing a lot of subscribers these days. Outer Banks season four though, as a whole, I feel like the first trailer does look pretty decent. We got some bad news about Ahsoka season two. It's not expected to begin filming until tw summer 2025. And holy crap, when I saw this news, I was fuming because that's a ridiculous amount of wait time between seasons. I, I was just saying, man, Disney Disney Plus needs to get their act together. They need to begin filming these faster and faster. Because if by the time we get the second season, which probably won't be until 2026, it will be about a three year wait between uh, the two seasons. That is insane. And if, if they're going to do another season, which they might do after this, you might not even get that until like 2029 or 2030 at this point. Having a three year wait between seasons, and especially because they're only like eight episodes, six episodes, 40 minutes each episode is ridiculous. Like I understand the VFX work, but how did Game of Thrones push out that many seasons and that many episodes? With that like hour long run times with that much VFX like years ago. It just doesn't make any sense at this point. A lot of people are just aren't gonna be interested after waiting three years. I of course am gonna be interested, but it's just, it's just terrible. Like waiting nine years of my life for three seasons of Ahsoka, it's ridiculous. We have our first official poster for DC's Creature Commandos and officially has a release date now, releasing on Max on December 5th probably going to be one episode a week like they've been doing for all their other series and i'm guessing it's going to be pretty short episodes maybe like 30 minutes 25 minute episodes or something like that i'm getting really hyped for this series i love the animation style that they're going with i'm not really sure how james gunn is really running dc i uh, we have to check when superman comes out i don't feel like this one's going to be you know the biggest test i, I like the character choices rick flag senior being in this is so confusing because Peacemaker, uh, the show Peacemaker about Rick Flagg's son and all that, Suicide Squad. It's a little confusing what's happening on there, but I, I do uh, think this will be pretty good and I'm looking forward to it. For our last piece of movie news, it's going to be about Ocean's 14, which is actually officially in the works and George Clooney and Brad Pitt are going to reprise their roles and Edward Berger, who directed All Quiet in the Western Front and his movie Conclave is coming out just in a couple months, is in talks to direct this one. So it's not like officially confirmed, but it is in the works. It's probably going to happen. Probably looking at a release date like uh, 2026, 2027 at this point, since it's just in the works. Uh, I would kind of be on board for this one. I, I don't know how it would work, though. I don't know how many other cast members she'd bring back. George Clooney, Brad Pitt, of course, the main stars. They're excellent in the Ocean movies. I think you got to bring Matt Damon back for some of these. Uh, Edward Berger, though, for directing this. That's an interesting choice. I, I don't know how well he would do with this one because he's exploring so many different movies at this point. All Quiet on the Western Front was a war movie. Conclave is kind of like a... It's kind of like a kind of thriller, I guess, uh, pulp thriller. And then this one would be, you know, a, you know, kind of a crime crime movie in a way uh you know i i think that he could do a pretty good job he's proved himself as a great director and i'd be on board for this i, I think the ocean movies are very fun i'm not you know the biggest fan of them i do love ocean 13 a lot that's my favorite one i i just don't know how it would work in this time period if they could figure out a great story sure go for it if they can't uh don't bother making it but i would be on board with it if it's a great story and it fits you know edward Berger, i think i like would do a great job george clooney brad pitt reprising their roles is basically you know the biggest uh you know green flag at this point if they weren't coming back 
don't make it but they're coming back so i have some faith for this one but that's all for movie news this week if you did enjoy make sure to do leave your like uh subscribe to the channel it does help a lot it's free to do so and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out